The Barachain testnet is now live, which is a free to use testnet that you can interact with today and potentially earn a lucrative airdrop at some point in the future. And so in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step guide of everything that you need to do in order to qualify for this airdrop. Now to start, what actually is the bear chain? According to their website, they are a modular EVM compatible L1 blockchain powered by proof of liquidity. But those are a lot of buzzwords that probably don't mean that much to you. And there's a great explainer thread from a fellow YouTuber that will tell you everything you need to know about what the bear chain actually is. Now, in terms of the airdrop opportunity, they do have a solid amount of funding. Last year, they raised $42 million. And so people that interact with the testnet early and complete the quests that were just launched on Galaxy will probably qualify for a nice little airdrop from BearChain. Now, yesterday, I released a poll on my channel asking what people preferred, free slash testnet airdrops that are hypersaturated or capital intensive airdrops where you have to invest money but are less diluted. And as you will see, this one is probably gonna be pretty saturated. Just in the first day, less than 24 hours since this testnet went live, almost 60,000 people have started participating in the Galaxy Quests, and you can only expect that it's gonna go up from here. And so while obviously I think that everyone should do this because it's only gonna take a few minutes of your time and it's a testnet, so it's completely free, I wouldn't expect to be making five figures from an airdrop like this. Anyways, this right here is the Galaxy page where they've released some quests that are gonna help onboard you to the testnet. But aside from this, there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do to increase your on-chain transaction history and stand out from the people that only complete these simple quests on Galaxy. So the first quest is an important one, and that is just to visit the faucet and get some testnet tokens. Now you can come back here every eight hours and try to claim new testnet tokens and all you have to do is copy your wallet address and paste it into the bar here and then click drip tokens and it will send 0.25 bera tokens to your wallet address the next step however is to add the network because you probably won't have it on your metamask or whatever wallet you're using and so to do that up in the left hand corner here hit explore and just select any one of these apps anyone will do. And when you open it up and try to connect your wallet, it's automatically going to add the bear chain testnet network for you. So just hit connect wallet and then select which wallet you're using. And then once you actually do connect a wallet, it's going to prompt you to add the network. It might come up with some sort of a warning because it's a new network, but just hit approve and add the network and it will eventually sync. Also, when you do request the tokens to be dripped to your wallet, it might take a while. And the first time I tried to request it, it only sent me 0 0.01 instead of the 0.25 that I was supposed to receive. So I had to wait eight hours, come back and request it again. But finally, I did get the testnet tokens in this wallet. I just think that there's so many people trying to do this all at the same time that it's a little bit glitchy and you might have some trouble doing some of this stuff. So just be patient, refresh the page and come back. And you can come back every eight hours and paste your wallet address in and try to get some tokens. Now, once you have done that, you can hit on the explore button here. And these are the different apps that we're going to want to interact with. So there's a bunch of different stuff that we can do. However, before we get into all of that, let's go back to the Galaxy page and I'll walk you through some of this stuff. Now, there's some social things that you have to do. For example, follow them on Twitter, retweet some stuff. But then there's also this where you're supposed to join their Discord and get a role. Now, if you have joined their Discord and you're having trouble figuring out how to get the role, don't worry, everybody else is too. And as you can see, the Discord is just popping off. Everyone is trying to figure out how to get the role. And I don't think anyone's actually been able to do it yet. So for now, we're just gonna have to set the Discord portion of this Galaxy Quest to the side and come back to it once they've ironed out the glitches. Now, in terms of the actual substantive items that we have to complete on this Galaxy Quest page, there's a little quiz with four or five questions, and then we have to complete a swap and mint some honey. So let's start with the quiz. And the answers to the quiz are C, D, 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 and A. Now the next step is to swap some of those Bera testnet tokens that we got for STG USDC. And this is the swap application on the Bera testnet. And once you connect your wallet, it detects the balance that you have in the Bera token. And what we're looking for is to swap Bera into STG USDC. Now, 
It's being a little bit glitchy right now. It's not detecting the balance of tokens in my wallet, even though I do have 0.26. So just try to refresh the page and come back or close the browser, clear the cache, and then try again. So once you are able to successfully connect your account to the swaps feature, trade some Vera for some STG, hit preview, confirm the transaction in your wallet, and then we'll move to the next step. And one thing I'll mention now is that when you make a swap, it won't automatically detect the new token in your wallet. It's there, it's recorded on the blockchain, but MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using just probably doesn't automatically detect your balance in it. And so we need to add it manually. And so we can go to the BearChain Blockchain Explorer and look at all of the list of ERC20 tokens on the network. So we can add these to our wallets by clicking on them and then copying the contract address opening up the wallet, clicking import token, paste the address in there, and then it will automatically detect the symbol and it will show your balance. So now I can see the STG USDC that I just swapped into, and I can do the same thing for other tokens that we're going to need, including Honey. So I'll copy this contract address and import this one as well for the next step. I'll leave a link to this down in the description as well. And so if you're making swaps and you run into an issue where you don't see your balance in your wallet, just find the token on the list here and copy and paste the contract address to import it. Anyways, let's move to the next step, which is to mint some honey tokens using that STG USDC that we just swapped into. And as was helpfully explained in this thread, which will also be linked below, there's three tokens that work together in this ecosystem. There's Bera, the gas token, Honey is a stable coin, and then there's BGT, a governance token, which we'll get to in a second. So back to this page here, we want to mint some Honey. I'm just gonna go ahead and click max, and then you can either approve the specific amount of tokens that you have, or you can approve infinite. I don't recommend doing this for real money, but since this is a test net, Let's just go ahead and approve infinite and then mint the honey tokens. That was a success. And since I've already added the honey token to my wallet, I can now see the balance right here. Now back to the galaxy campaign page, we have completed the steps to finish both of these action items. So now I can go ahead and claim the points for doing both of these things. But now there's a few things we can do to go above and beyond what's being asked for the Galaxy campaign, because there's a lot more apps in this ecosystem that we can interact with. So for example, we can go to the BGT station, which is the hub for the governance token, which I just mentioned. And then we can also open up Ben, which is a DeFi platform for borrowing and lending assets, as well as Burps with a E, which is a platform for trading. Now, before we can do anything with the governance token, obviously we need to get some. And if we go back to the honey minting page, we can add liquidity to earn BGT rewards. So if you click on that, it's gonna bring you to this page where you can either create your own liquidity pool or you can just add liquidity to a pre-existing pool. And these pools are through the BEX or the decentralized exchange application that we already used to make swaps. And you can also navigate to it by hitting on the pool button up here. So once we're here, I'm just gonna add liquidity to the STG USDC and Honey Pool. But there's a bunch of other different options and you can try to experiment with as many of these as you have time for. So once you choose which pool you want to add liquidity to, hit on the add button here, and then you can select whether or not you want to deploy both tokens in the pool or a single token. So in this case, let's say that I want to add 25 STG USDC and 25 Honey. I select the amount, hit preview, and then I have to approve the spending of these tokens. So I'm just gonna approve infinite again. And if you approve infinite, then next time you come back to do this, you won't have to do it again. So once you've approved the token spending, hit add liquidity and confirm yet another transaction in your wallet. And now I have opened up a position which shows up in my pools here on the BEX page. And this will earn me BGT rewards, which I'll then be able to use for the governance side of things. Now, while we're waiting for some BGT rewards to accrue, we can go to the other applications and interact with them. So let's start with Bend, which is a DeFi platform for lending and borrowing different assets. Now here, if we interact with this platform and make some deposits, we can also earn some BGT rewards. So down here, you'll see a list of the assets that you can supply. And currently that's Honey, Wrapped Bitcoin, and Wrapped ETH. So I do still have some honey in my wallet that I minted before. And if I wanted to, I could swap into the Bitcoin and the ETH on the swaps page. So for now, let's go ahead and hit supply on this asset here, honey, 
and then I will supply the rest of the amount that I have in my wallet. And every time you interact with a new application, you have to approve the spending of these ERC20 tokens again. So once you confirm that transaction, you've now loaned out some tokens to the Bend application, and we should be able to claim some BGT rewards after a little while from here as well. Now, another thing that you can do on the Bend platform is borrow honey tokens, but you can't borrow honey against honey. So for that, you need wrap Bitcoin or wrapped ETH. So if you want to do this step, swap into Bitcoin and ETH and then come back. And if you do supply some Bitcoin or ETH to the platform, like I've done here right now, then you can borrow some honey against that collateral. So if I hit borrow here, I can select how much, let's just borrow, say 10, hit on the borrow button and then confirm this transaction. So now I can track the positions here, both of the deposits or supplies that I've made as well as the borrow. And since these are all testnet tokens, you don't really have to worry too much about liquidations or anything like that. Okay, next we're gonna interact with Burps, which is a perpetuals trading protocol. So on this platform, what you're doing is trading perpetuals for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Atom, or TIA tokens. And you can go either long or short. And in order to place a trade and use leverage, you need to have some collateral in your wallet. So Honey, which is the stable token. So let's say I wanna use the full balance of Honey tokens that I just borrowed on the Ben platform and I'm going to use 100x leverage to go long ETH. You can also set take profits or stop losses. And again, since this is testnet money, obviously it doesn't mean anything, so I'm not worried about getting liquidated here. Now I'm getting a transaction error here. The network has been pretty glitchy this morning and I've had to come back to this a few times just to complete all these steps. But in theory, you should be able to just hit place the order and then you'll be able to track your positions that are open right here. That second transaction was a success though. It allowed me to short ETH. So maybe the market is telling me that going long was the wrong decision. And in the portfolio tab, I should be able to track my position and the profit of it or whether or not it's been liquidated, but the app is being super glitchy right now. So it's not picking up that position even though the transaction was confirmed. Now, the final thing that you're going to want to do on the Burps application is go to the vault, which is up here, and you can deposit some honey into that vault and you will also earn BGT token rewards for depositing honey into the vault here as well. It's currently being super glitchy, so you have to be patient, but it's very simple. You just select right here how much honey you want to deposit into the vault and then confirm a transaction. And then over time, you'll be able to claim those BGT rewards. And the final step, once you've actually accumulated some BGT tokens, the governance token, and maybe I'll make a follow on video just to walk through this process. But when there's proposals available for voting on the governance site right here, then you can vote on them with your BGT tokens. You can also delegate your tokens to validators. So there's a list of different validators right here that you can delegate tokens to. And you can actually redeem BGT tokens for the Barrow token, which is the gas token right here as well. So that is a simple walkthrough of how you can start interacting with the Barrow chain testnet. It's pretty glitchy right now because there's so many people trying to do this all at the same time. And just given the amount of saturation of this airdrop farming, I'm not sure how much you would actually get, but there's definitely no harm in interacting with it. And even if it's only a couple hundred dollars in an airdrop, Obviously, that's still free money, so why not? Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you later.